Now, I'm going to be tying this fly here. This is a fly I've named after Conor McGregor, who's a world famous fighter uh, from Ireland. Now, this, as I say, it's a bit of fun, but this colour combination I'm sure will work. Uh, places like Loch Melvin, uh, Loch Mask, I would expect. There's one or two other locks, certainly worth a go. But anyway, we'll get, I'll give it a go and uh, I'll show you tight. These Irish patterns and Irish wet flies can be test anybody's skills at tying flies, and this certainly will. But it's a bit of fun, as I say, and as I say, named after uh, Conor McGregor. So now the hook I'm going to be using this is a fully mill hook, it's a competition heavyweight and black nickel, size 10. Now we start off with the fire on thread to keep the, the body bright and then finish off with the black. Now we start at the, uh, the hook, come down about 5 or 6 mil or so, remove the waist. Now come up and stop about a head length from the eye. Now I'm looking for a blue J feather, well marked blue J, one here. Now we tie these fibres in, just a method of tying these in, it makes when you've got a lot of materials like this fly, it's a good method. Now what I'm going to do is bring them fibres 90 degrees from the stem, hold the tips, tear it away from the feather. Now if you've done it right, you should, these should be practically in line. And you see, and then the tips should be okay then. So what we're going to do is then roll these within our fingers. Just to sort of mix them up. Then I'm going to tie them forward to the eye. So length, you're looking round about the shank length. And then we just encourage these fibres round the shank using our fingers and the thread. Two or three turns in. Now it's always good to check just to see how well you've spread them out. Make sure you've got enough, enough room at the head, so your head length from the eye which is fine. And then we can continue down the body. Just tidying this up. Now you get to this point and we tie in a medium gold holographic tinsel. This is for the tag. Now we catch this in and then we continue down. Now the tag should be round the bend of the hook slightly, so a mil and a half or so come round, maybe two mil at the most. Then we can this is some full mil super glue, just a mid touch. Comes with a brush, so it's easier to apply. Now by winding it over the super glue obviously protects the tinsel. And we can tie it off, two or three turns. Trim away the waist. Now for the tail, I'm using the Glow Bright Floss number 11. Now it's a fine floss, and you have to. So, what I normally do is wind it around my fingers. And then, for this sort of fly, you're looking around about six times or so, and then doubled, so obviously 12. So, what we do then is trim. So, I've got it around the fingers, then I fold it again so that's doubled up into basically 12 strands. 10 to 12 is fine. Obviously, trim that loop. And then, what I do is just using a brush. This is an old toothbrush, just brush the fibres together. This will form your tail. You tie this on. Now there's a bit of length of the body there just to make sure it's tied on. Now I usually quickly take the thread up just to tie these in. Tail length, you're looking much the length of the, the, the body, slightly less. Depends, some guys like it short. I'm going to make it about, say, the length of the body, which is there. Now, on the way back down, at the same time, I'll tidy up. I'll tie in the, an oval gold tinsel. This is a small. So, your way down. Right up against the tail. Now, I've got a mix here of uh, hot orange and sunburst seals fur. It's that kind of 50-50 mix is ideal. Slightly double it onto the thread. Now what I do is just double it on, twisting the fibres one way. As we get to the slide up the thread, we can catch it in, that's your anchor point there. Then we can tighten, tighten to that point and then what we're, we're dubbing up. Now you've got to give yourself a good, around about 4mm from the eye, tie in 
all the hackles. There's quite a few. Now for the body, I'm putting on a. This is a saddle I've got. It's a Mates grade so two dyed yellow, a nice clean yellow. So bear the stem enough to maybe catch it in. Yeah, a wee bit of wax on my thread at this point. Then we can do a turn at the top. And then maybe three to four turns down. Now I usually start off with a turn at the back with the tinsel and then catch in the hackle on the way up. You're looking around about five turns. Nice and tight. Now I usually break that off, keeping the obviously the tinsel nice and tight. But if you want, make sure just tie in your tinsel and then trim away your hackle. Trim away your waist. At this point, just tidy things up. Draw your blue jay out of the way. You will get the odd fibre. You've got to just be patient with it. As I say, the Irish patterns. I mean, people look at them and say, "Jeez, it's an awful lot of dressing, all the a lot of colour." These work extremely well. Now, Lock Melvin would be a good block to try this one out. I'm just brushing out with some Velcro some of the seals for. Now, we tie in two rump feathers. Now, the rump comes from the golden pheasant. It's a yellow. Now. Yeah. One this has been dyed black and this one's been dyed green. Now we tie them in both at the same time with the green on top. So I've taken away the fluff, as you can see. Now you only you only want a turn or so uh, of these hackles, you know, because you'll overdress it if you try to tie in too much. You can maybe a turn and a half at the most. So what I'm doing here is just drawing back the fibres, keeping the tips together. Basically what it's doing is mixing these a wee bit. You could tie them in individually. Uh, it's up to yourself. You can see what I've done there. When you pull back what I don't need. There's the tips. There's what I need for the feather or for the fly. So what I do is trim away. Wax your thread. Just run it through once and then you can use your finger to take away the excess. Then we can tie this on. Make sure that's secure, come back up. Get both stems, fold them back. Come round, use your fingers to hold. See how they're sitting. That's plenty. And then come in, tie them off. Make a space for your thread onto the stem. When you've got enough turns in there, and you feel it's secure enough, you can then trim away the waste. Now there's an odd wee hackle fibre, you see the yellow, I can draw them back with the thread. Again, I'm just going to make sure there's a wee bit of wax on. Take it up. See where the fibres are sitting. Now these are all twisted, these fibres. We can sort them with the, out when we come back, when we sort of finish with the fly, we can... Once they've been in the water, they'll sit nice. But we can get the hair dryer and that'll warm them up and bring them into the right shape. Now between the blue jay and these feathers I'm going to tie in a sunburst dye. This is a cock hackle from a Mets grade 2 saddle. Now as you see I've dyed it sunburst. It's a nice bright colour. Catching the stem. Again we wax, make sure that's secure. Now people ask about the wax, why? So the wax will give you strength in the thread and it will give you grip. Now that's two turns. Now what I'm going to do here is draw back the blue jay at this point. Just try and keep it so it's all the way around. Just slightly with your fingers. Draw it back. Once there's a space then you can do a turn with the sunburst hackle in front. Then tie it off. That will support the blue jay. And then we can fold back the tip. Form a nice head with the thread, and then we can keep the thread tight and break that off. Now what I'm going to use is, a, because you've got all these hackle fibres twisted, it's easy just to get the hair dryer. This will sort them out, just bring them back in line, and get them to sit where you want. So, and they'll sit like that in the water.
And there we are. So you, get, you can see the blend and the shape of their fly. Now I'm going to add some legs on this, but before I do that, I'm going to get some my black thread. I'm just going to run the wax through it first. And then tie on. As I say, they're not easy to tie these flies. A lot of practice. If you can, I always say to people, if you can tie an Irish fly, you can practically tie anything. Because your proportions have got to be right. Everything's got to be right. There we are. Now you could keep the head, the fire orange if you want. It's a nice colour. But anyway, I'm going to do it black. Get some dyed hot orange. This is pheasant tail, caught pheasant tail dyed. I've knotted the ends and I need three for either side. So if you bring them straight, 90 degrees from the stem, the tips will line up and then tear them away. So we get we can have these longer shorts up to yourself. I like it within the, just like the by the tail. Three either sides, I say. I've got three or four turns in. Fold these back. Secure them in. Now we're keeping the thread really tight. Now just keep it tight. Then you can break these off, get a nice clean cut. And there we are. And that's the legs tied in. Now, get a jungle cut. Two eyes. Now, two nice eyes here. This is dyed sunburst, so it's going to highlight it. I mean, you can use normal jungle cork if you haven't got that. Now, just line them up. I like tying on the black area, so what we do is drop back these fibres. Set them so they're on either side, slightly up into the dressing. Two or three turns. See how they're sitting. It's okay. Okay, and a wee bit of wax. And you fold these back, do another turn, and then just like, basically tie over the top. Nice and tight, forming a head. Keeping the thread tight, ignore them at this point, and then we can go straight in and whip finish. Trim off. And then we can either hopefully break these away. Try again. No, don't want to break. It's a good sign. They're strong fibres, so we can trim that away. Try and break this one. Doesn't look like it, so what we do is trim it away. That's fine. Now for speed, you've seen me doing this before. This is a full of mill super glue with the brush. Just touching the head. This will dry really quick and hard. Just, just take your advice if you can. And there we are. Now five minutes or so, that'll be dry. Like a nice bead-like head. Nice and shiny. Now that's the, uh, as I call it, I'm going to call it the, the Conor McGregor uh, octopus. Gorgeous George. It's kind of like two flies in one. Um, the Irish boys will like this, I'm sure they will. And uh, I can even see it taken in some of the locks. We've got a lot of salmon in some of the locks, and this would be a good colour combination. So I hope we enjoyed that. <laughs>